What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, we're going to be going over some hot stocks that you guys definitely need to keep your eye on going into this next week and exactly the key things that you guys need to be looking for, some key price levels and some strategy on how you could potentially make some money with a couple of these stocks that we are going to be talking about. So if you guys do enjoy these types of videos and the information and analysis that I do provide you guys in these videos, make sure you go down and hit that like button. Cost you nothing to do it. Helps us out a whole lot over here. Subscribe for more videos like this and comment down below which stocks you guys are looking at going into this next week's trading week. So the first stock that we're going to be talking about here is kind of a retail investor favorite right now. And you guys have heard kind of my opinions on what I think about some of these types of stocks, um, but we're going to talk about them anyway and just kind of give you guys what my analysis is, is on them at this current time. So the first one's going to be TBLT. When we come over here, this is kind of why TBLT has been surging. So the tough built industry stock surged about 21% in the previous trading session. This is a continuation of momentum as the stock price increased over 70% since 3 p.m. on July 27th. Investors have been responding positively to Tough Built Industries, announcing that the company has entered into an agreement with Ace Hardware USA International to sell 35 Tough Built products. This stock is also heavily shorted, which is why retail investors are kind of flocking to this stock right now. But let's take a look at the chart um, because, again, men lie, women lie, charts don't. So let's take a look at this chart right here. So on the four hour time frame, when we look at this right here, we did get this cross up signal uh, when the price was trading at around $2.41. Now, typically with 1348 with swing trades, we are waiting for price action to get above that 200 exponential moving average. We want to see consolidation above here, and we almost want to see this 13 EMA come above this 200 EMA as well. Uh, so you have that dynamic level of support above that longer time frame exponential exponential moving average right here, or longer moving period exponential moving average. So again, this is going to be a very, very high risk play. If we do hold this 200 EMA right here at about 660, as we can see right over here, as I move my cursor back, uh, I would say that there is some upside left. But if you are going to see upside, you kind of need to break this double top level that you're seeing here right around 937. Again, with these types of stocks, specifically the very, very highly shorted stocks, aside from like an AMC or a GME, um, if you are already invested in those, again, uh, I wouldn't say that it's the smartest idea to just go chasing all of the other potential short squeeze plays. But again, it's your money. You can do what you want. Um, I would have a plan, though, a very specific plan going in and making sure uh, that you guys have an idea of where you're entering, why you're entering and where you're going to exit and why. Coming down right around this 200 EMA right here is not the worst thing in the world. And we could definitely see it bounce. But those are going to be a couple of the price levels that I want you guys to watch going into this next week. Now, we also, before we get into the two other stocks that I want to talk about, because these two other stocks do have earnings and they're going to be heavily influenced by the overall market, I do want to show you guys what we're looking at on SPY. So this is going to be the market ETF right here of the S&P 500. And what we're looking at here is this cross up on the four hour, closing candles above the 200 EMA in an absolutely meteoric moon mission with some market shorts getting out, sending the SPY almost all the way back to a couple of these previous resistance levels. Um, and what we're really looking at here is a potential run up to 418. Now, the reason why I'm kind of looking at this 418 very specifically is one, this is where price action was really consolidating before that massive move back down. Now, if we are going to see some pullback on the SPY on the four hour time frame, what I would look for is this 13 EMA right here, this 404.95 as a potential pullback, depending on what news we actually get. Now, if you look at this on the daily time frame, it looks a little bit different. We have this cross up on the daily. Again, you still see that right around 418 level on this daily time frame. And that's also right around the 200 exponential moving average on the daily time frame. So if we can break above those levels, it's very possible that the market goes on a nice little run here. But again, it's also very possible that we run up to here, that 418, reject and start that move back down. Now, keeping those things in mind, these two other stocks, I think, are going to have some very, very significant moves this week. We've seen them have significant moves over these last few weeks, and I think these could easily continue going into the week of earnings. So what we're really gonna be looking at here is this, this earnings calendar, the first one is going to be Advanced Micro Devices, AMD. It's one of my favorites. 
I own a lot of AMD for the long term, and I do like to trade it a lot as well. Now, here's a couple of things that happened on AMD over this past week that I want you guys to take a look at. AMD has recently passed Intel in market cap. Now, Intel recently just had very poor earnings. What we see is the trend typically when Intel reports bad earnings. You can look up some more news articles about this, but AMD typically gains off Intel's bad earnings. Now, with AMD earnings coming up, depending on how those earnings are actually digested by the market, AMD could be in for some pretty aggressive moves to the upside. When you combine that with the CHIPS bill getting approval in the government right now, the House passed bipartisan legislation to boost U.S. competitiveness with China by allocating billions of dollars towards domestic semiconductor manufacturing and scientific research well these kind of uh, all of all of these little things kind of put together with the news uh and when we come over and actually take a look at the chart right here uh set amd up for a potential move to the upside we're hunting this daily cross right here um and if we do get that daily cross again the target we'd have to break these key uh levels of resistance right here right around 100 and that's also right around where the 200 exponential moving average is on that daily time frame as well. And again, if you guys do want to learn a little bit more about this strategy that we're using with these moving averages um, and the different chart, uh, different support and resistance levels that we have here, make sure you check out that link down below. You're going to get alerts on over 450 stocks, access to over 55 private live streams every single month, a full built out trading curriculum. We have trading algorithms in there as well with two really cool ones coming. So if you guys are interested in that, Make sure you check out that link down below. Now, when we take a look at AMD on the four hour, it's looking really good here as well. You see RSI is getting a little overheated here, so we might end up seeing AMD come back down to this previous level of resistance here, uh, right around 91.50, um, or we start to come down to that 13 EMA, but as you can see on the four hour, it's right around that previous resistance support level as well. Um, so AMD definitely one to keep an eye on going into this week. Now, again, if you are going to be trading on the five minute time frame, remember those key support and resistance levels are going to be very, very important. And that's stuff that we talk about all the time in our group. Now, the last stock that we are going to be talking about here is kind of a favorite of mine, uh, of the people in our group. A lot of people have been hitting some pretty crazy plays with this stock recently. And now we're coming to a time where we are going to see more volatility kind of getting baked in, and we could see more volatility uh, kind of happening with the underlying stock price here. So when we come back to the earnings chart, we are going to be having Alibaba earnings before market opens on Thursday. Now, last week, Alibaba had some pretty aggressive moves to the downside off of this news right here. So Alibaba, the delisting fears are back. Now, Seeking Alpha is saying time to turn bullish again. Um, but again, I don't necessarily agree with this at the current time. Uh, we do see these delisting fears come up a lot in the market uh, with these Chinese stocks. Now, they're typically short-lived. We see them sell off. They come back up. But there's typically some long-lasting effects. Now, with Alibaba earnings coming up, depending on how they report, well, we could end up seeing them try to make a move back up. But the chart on the longer time frames doesn't look all that great. When we take a look at the, uh, at this on the four hour, we cross down all the way back here. We've been messing around below this 200 exponential moving average, and we are now selling off very, very, very hard with a minus 11% red day on Friday. Now, it's very possible that Alibaba gets a little bit of a mean reversion day on Monday coming up. Uh, and what I mean by that is it just kind of gets bought back up on an overreaction move to the downside ahead of earnings. Um, but again, if this thing starts to sell off again, I'd be watching 84.50. Uh, if it falls through there, you could end up seeing that 81.20 level as well. So again, guys, that's going to kind of wrap up this video. If you did enjoy the format of this video, kind of going over some stocks that I'm looking at going into this next week, make sure you drop a like down below. It helps out a whole lot with the algorithms. Other than that, guys, have fun printing this week. Peace.